Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is your home for organic Bible study, the finest Bible bistro on the internet, found right here, five minutes a day, Monday through Friday. Today we're looking at verses 13 through 16 of Psalm 118, and we were looking at the, the beautiful nature of the way the Lord delivers, and that's our subject. So we're looking at this psalm in 118, the first half of it this week, and we notice yesterday, or yeah, yesterday, all the nations surrounding him. They surround him, they compassed him about like bees and so forth. Now today we get really personal. And we have this beautiful contrast. I want you to listen to verse 13. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall, but the Lord helped me. What more do you need to know than that right there, ladies and gentlemen? That tells the whole story of the human condition. The enemy thrusts sore to make us fall. He tries to push us off the edge. But who helps? The Lord. David, if he would have mentioned, or whoever the psalmist is here, if he had mentioned some other source, some other source of help, then we would we would glorify that. But the only true source of help for us when we are in the distress bucket, from the distress I called on the Lord. The enemy thrusts sore at me. And David, or whoever is writing this, says, You have. Notice that. It's personal to him. He's talking to the enemy. You have thrust sore at me, but the Lord helped me. You see, you thought you were going to make me fall, but guess who grabbed my hand? Guess, guess who helped me up? Guess who's got me on my feet again? It's none other than the Lord God. Why? Because his mercy endures forever. You see, that's the subject of this psalm, and we just keep coming back to it. Notice what happens after verse 13. Let me read 14 through 16. The Lord is my strength and song, and has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the habitation, or I'm sorry, is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. So the psalmist is praising the Lord because the enemy wanted him to fall, but the Lord was his help. And then he says, the Lord is my strength. He is my song. He has become my salvation. Notice that. The Lord always becomes our salvation. We don't start out with him as our salvation, but there usually comes a point in life when we reach the very bottom of the distress bucket and we reach up to heaven and say, Oh God, help me. And he's right there. He always hears and answers that prayer. The voice of rejoicing and salvation, I love this verse, is in the tabernacles of the righteous. Where do they live? They go back home. Is the praise service over when they go to the house? Nope. The praise service is just beginning. Because in the house... Of the righteous, there is rejoicing and salvation. And then we have our next repeating phrase. Notice the right hand of the Lord. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. Three times the right hand of the Lord is mentioned, and it's from that right hand that salvation is extended. It doeth valiantly. Why? Because the mercy of the Lord, do I have to say it, endures forever. You see, again, we go back to the mercy. Why is the right hand exalted? Why does it do valiantly? Because the Lord is merciful, and he's helping, he's saving, he's doing the work that we cannot do for ourselves. We cannot save ourselves. We can't even help ourselves from the distress bucket. We must call on him. I encourage you today, friend, even though the enemy thrusts sore at you to try to make you fall, reach out to the Lord and you will say, but the Lord helped me. 
Join me again next week on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.